in Vermont, 28 and 5 on the season, 17 and 1 in their conference. The Razorbacks, 25 and 8, and 13 and 5 in the SEC. And here we go, Game Four from Buffalo on the day. So the Catamounts trying to get it in and have to be aware. Well, they get a shot away in a hurry, and it's a three ball. They outscored opponents by 110 points in the conference tournament and won the conference tournament by 39. Here's Tony. Three on the other end. And Finn Sullivan with a rebound for the Catamounts. Davis outside. Got it. And that's what makes him so hard to guard. Note. Left hand off the window. Not quite enough. Sullivan will clear it to Shungu. And he's going coast to coast. Easy lay-in. I told you this group is confident. Nice feed inside Ooh. and a slam by Trey Wade. Williams has just been getting better and better the sophomore week in, week out. Their top rebounder, almost 10 a game. Here he is on the outside for three. Got it. Nice fake, excellent pass. Davis, three ball. Got it. And Davis tells Williams, anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> Five minutes into the game, three point Catamount lead. Finn Sullivan off the window on St. Patrick's Day wearing green. Gets a screen, Davis picks him up. Davis with the left hand, three goes. Devante Davis. Davis on the baseline, back-to-back -back buckets for Devontae Davis. And we're even at 13, third tie of the first half. Nice extra dish on the baseline, and Deloney scores off the feed from Duncan. Deloney got his own miss, the little guy underneath. He's trying to make plays. He needs to let guys create the plays for him. He's more of a finisher than a creator. Catamounts give it right back to him, though. Davis on the breakout. What was that? I don't know. Did he walk before he got the shot to go? No, I guess it went. Tight game. Arkansas has never led. They do now. And there's Williams sticking with it. Arkansas fans come to life on the far side of the court. Ben Sullivan, oh, what a slam, and it's blocked by Amude. Wow, Amude with the rejection right there. Return to sender. Sometimes you've got to learn to live with rejection. Taking away what looked like a for sure slam dunk. Nice move by Amude for his first basket. They're doing a great job. Vermont is doing a great job on Note, not giving him an inch. They sure are. Amude makes up for it on the inside with a deuce and a five-point lead. They want to get to these ball screens, spread you out, and then force you to make some tough decisions. Shungu maybe should have kept going to the hoop on that one. Had an open path, I think. Instead, they bring it outside. It'll work. And a three goes. Missoula. That's the Razorback lead to two off the inbounds play. Immediately going up is Stanley Amude on the outside. Drills it on the baseline. When you see how small he is in stature on the court. Now, he plays bigger than what he is. But, man, he was 16, 17 points per night. And you see that Ben Shingun cuts down the lane for the layup right there. Vermont is they're really, they're really, really patient offensively. They are content to take their time, move that ball around the perimeter as they get a turnover right here. And Arkansas looks like they have numbers. Davis got it to go inside. Under two minutes in the half. All the way to the rack with a left hand for Robin Duncan. And often something like Vermont runs like a five-out offense to a certain degree. With a bunch of with a bunch of well, ball nice finger and roll. handoffs as we see a nice layup right there by William. 36 seconds, both teams have a timeout. I'm not sure if, he, not sure if any, any team's gonna use it though. That three-pointer goes for Amude. Here comes Note. And Williams has done a very good job against Davis. He hasn't given him any angle to the basket. Yeah. See Note finally get into the scorer's column. That's a welcome sight for Arkansas. Williams has done that to a lot of guys in the SEC this year. 
And Chungu almost throw it away, but nice job to pick up the slack. Missoula got the loose ball and scored. Catamounts with a rebound, but in desperate need of finding some offense here. That could help if it goes, and it does. A three-pointer for Davis. Man, is that a welcome sight for Vermont. Trying to save it, but they save it in to Vermont. And there's Shungu off the window. Davis against Williams. Spins with one hand and got it to okay. go. Okay. Because they run a free-flowing a free offense. Missoula miss, got his own miss. Davis, three. Got him. Wow. He's having a slow offensive night. Deter him from doing other things. You see him hawking down that ball on defense. Davis, spin move, one-hander hook. Wow, I like it. You know, when you see that ball go through the hoop a little bit, Brad, you get that bop and you step on defense. You start feeling good. Note trying to answer. Misses off the window. Mude, three. Got it. His second three-pointer of the night. And they got Davis inside on the switch with Note on him. Got to find him. Tough lob, tough catch. Nice spin and the bucket. That's the versatility we talk about. Davis stops in the lane and pops. Baseline jumper, a three goes for Sullivan. Vermont back in front by one. Note way down, got it. I told you, all he has to do is see that ball go through one time and he can heat up. Davis back in Williams down. Now he turns. Thought he was going to take the shot. Instead, he got it to the baseline to Missoula. And almost to the midway point of the second half, dead even. Note off the window. Great take right down the lane. Two point Arkansas lead. Got to get it up there. Three pointer goes for Duncan. Note pulls down the backside rebound. Looking to push it a little bit. And pushes it all the way to the rack. They're chalkboard and they always draw stuff up. You want to know this, what those signs for, what those signs mean. It means get it to either number one or number <laughs> ten. Actually the biggest lead of the second half because at halftime they led by seven and then Vermont kept chipping away at it. Nice drive by Shungu. Shungu curled it real, real close. Didn't give his defender any room to shoot the gap. Wide open look for Amude, and he buries a trip. If you get a jumper, it needs to be a good jumper because if you drive to the basket, there's a good chance you'll end up on the free throw line with Vermont already being in the bonus. Davis on a runner. Note back pedals. Shot clock it's going down. up. Note sees it. Missed the rim. They just got that away. I think they're going to make sure that that beat the shot clock. And he had gotten them back in it and back in the lead. And he hasn't touched it much since. Yeah. Note up high and in for 13. Because he's a bona fide scorer. Chungo in traffic. Got it to go and one. It's never a good sign when you see a guy shoot the ball and immediately run towards the basket. <laughs> that means he, he, if anybody knows this off, that guy knows this off. In low. Tough shot and good. For Missoula. Williams all over him. Shungu thought about launching a deep one. Instead, he drives and scores. And he back to Sullivan. Five Sullivan, five. deep ball is off the mark. Underneath, Shungu saved it. And that tipped the second time, and they missed three of them. And Jalen Williams has got it, and he's fouled by Sullivan. Vermont normally likes to run a patient offense, but Tom is not on their side right now. They have to go fast and quickly. Nice backdoor cut and good dish by Shungu. We have all of his teammates lifted at the top of the key. He lost to Hanley, walked with it. Slips and falls. It was one of his best offensive nights as a Razorback. This would give him 20, and he's got it. Got them both. 21 for Stanley Amude. Catamount's got a hustle. Under 20 to go. Sullivan on the dribble. Here's Shungu. Got a three. 
a huge one. If you're Arkansas, that's the guy you wanted the line. Got them both. Now Vermont has to have a three. It's nine seconds. And Sullivan will put it up over Note. It's short. Williams has got the ball. Arkansas has got the win.